Netflix just doesn't even care. Well, this is Jason for Soulfire. I have been following the Netflix controversy over the last few months regarding the movie that they have put out titled Cuties. The original controversy had to do with their advertising for the movie, but then once the movie actually came out, the controversy increased even more. If you want to see my thoughts that I originally posted on that, you can check those out here. I want to give a few updates of two things that have happened since this controversy has broken out. The first would be over 400,000 people signed a petition to have the movie removed from Netflix. And then also tens of thousands of people have canceled their Netflix subscription. Now, I don't have access to know the exact number of how many people that have canceled their subscription, but given the controversy online, it seems like quite a few people have done so. But the second thing that has also happened is that over 30 politicians have asked the Department of Justice in the U.S. to investigate Netflix, that the movie that they are putting out violates the decency law with child pornography involving children. This has been led by Senator Ted Cruz. And one of the things that Ted Cruz points out is that there's a clear distinction in the law for children that are under the age of 12. Now, this movie, Cuties, if you've been following it at all, has uh, girls that are 11. They are put in sexualized poses and there have really been sexualized throughout this movie and the law doesn't require nudity in order for something to be considered child pornography so i think it'd be very difficult for somebody to argue that this movie doesn't violate that law regardless of the intentions of the director and one of the arguments that's been put out there is that the director was trying to show how our culture is sexualizing children but the best example for this that i have seen that i have been thinking about as well is if you wanted to say that animal abuse is wrong would you then make a movie showing the abuse of animals and abusing actual animals to get your point across because really that's what this movie has done so the question that i have is what does Netflix know that we don't know? One of the things I think that they know is that there's more people that want to watch this movie than people who would actually be moved to cancel their subscription. Netflix knows that there's a demand for this type of content. Perhaps even the controversy that this movie has stirred up has actually been good for business for them. One of the challenging things that I see there is that means that a lot of Americans are unmotivated to actually change their entertainment habits to defend the rights and the dignity of children. What would it actually take for you to cancel a subscription to Netflix? What would it take for Netflix to actually remove this movie? Imagine you had a company and your company had tens of thousands of products and you had hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And imagine you put out one product that really ticked off a huge chunk of your customers and the government said, hey, I think that's illegal. We're probably gonna investigate you. Would you as a company say, listen, if our customers don't want this, if our customers are offended by this, we'll pull it off. It's just one of tens of thousands of products that we have available, won't influence or affect our business model. And in fact, more people may be encouraged to do business with us if we remove this product. Netflix doesn't even care. They're not motivated to pull this movie off. They don't care if it's sexualizing children. In fact, as I've been arguing for a long time, they are in the business to produce and distribute pornography. And in this case, I think they're showing us they don't even care if it's child pornography. Well, what do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Are you actually motivated to cancel Netflix? If you want to check out some of the other movies that I put out on this issue of Netflix, you can check that out right here. And as always, here on this channel of Soul Fire, we're trying to bring gospel hope to a porn-filled world. Love to hear your comments below in the comments section. Hit the like button if you can help us out. Subscribe if you want to see more content. This is Jason for Soulfire. I'll catch you in the next one.